Hi everyone, it's Natalie Turner with Annual Canada. I'm upside down because I want to show you how incredible these fibers are for my black granite countertop as well as my cucina sheets that I love to use for baking and my stoneware. So why am I doing this is because there seems to be a lot of questions about how do you remove all the fingerprints and marks off of your counters but how do you also pick up the oil and grease from your surfaces. So what I'm doing here is showing you how I have a bowl. It's a stainless steel bowl with ice, cold water. Then I also have a little white bowl here and it's empty. So I wanted to show you how there will not be any residue on here, but then you'll see also the dirt that's in here after I clean it up. I also have my orange blossom soap here which is the soap that you need for after. And what you're doing is you're taking the soap, it's super concentrated, you're adding a little drop onto your fiber after. So I'm gonna put this aside because I don't need this right now, okay? So first what we're going to explain is the difference between this fiber and this fiber. They're the same. The only difference is size. And the reason why it's based on sizes, it depends on the thing that you're cleaning, the tool that you're cleaning, or the plate that you're cleaning, or your surface that you're cleaning. So this comes in a large glove format, but it also comes in a really handy size. See how it's the size of my hand? So that's the reason why I'm using this to use on my pan, because it's a larger surface, and I can also use it on my counter. But if I'm doing my full counter, if you've got a large space, you would want to use the glove or your oven and um, bigger pieces to clean. So this and this is the same. The back side though is different. See how this one has a really um, uh, harder, more scratchy kind of surface here, but it also has these long fibers. And these fibers are amazing to pick up any crumbs and stuff. So again, on my cucina sheet here, I would definitely be wanting to be using this side because I need to scrape a little bit because I baked on the barbecue with this, but it's got these fibers that will pick this up, okay? And same with the stoneware. So if you've got Pamper Chef stoneware or any um, uh, sto acrylic or um, uh, what do you call it, glass and ceramic pieces, so you're gonna wanna use this on here as well. If it's a smaller, like a cast iron pan or um, cookie sheet, then you may want to be using this. This is amazing in the sink. I love to use this in my sink, but I also use this to wash my dishes. So this is the difference between the two and how you use them. These two fibers are the grease oil lifters. So this is what you're going to use if you've got an oily surface. In this case, I have oil. So this is what I'm going to use with cold water. So the cold water will actually have to help to grab and hold the oils whether it's butter and oil, and it grabs it on the surface so you can continue to use it and pick up. It's actually amazing. So I'm gonna show you how that works because here I put some butter, okay? Next is the um, all-purpose fiber, which is this one here. So this one is amazing because what it does is it picks up crumbs and it cleans your surfaces. So see how that those fibers are super long? This is the best dishcloth you'll ever want. I love the back side because the back side is also a little bit scratchy. So if it's not really bad on my cooking sheet or my surface, as in no, not too much butter, this is what I will use. Because if you take this fiber and pick up water, it's like a pa paper towel replacement. It will pick up a ton of liquid. So if you've got liquids to pick up, like even in here, I would be able to pick up all this water if there's a spill of milk or anything like that. This is what I would use. So let's start. I'm going to use this fiber here, which is the Duo cloth, and I'm going to dip it in some cold water. So as you can see, this is ice. So. I don't need a lot of water, so you always squeeze your fiber to remove as much water as possible because you don't need a lot, but it definitely needs to be cold. So first we're going to start with this little pan here. So let me move this out of the way. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to put this on a flat surface, if you can see that here. So all I do is take my cloth I'm going to fold it in half just to show you on half of it, okay? So my cucina is what I use on the barbecue instead of foil because it's a great replacement for that. So as you can see, um, it, is be is, it is picking up the oils, 
and seal that on here. So that is what the oil and the crumbs pick up. But now I'm going to flip it to this side and show you how this works because it's, there is a little bit of burnt residue on here or cooked residue. So I'm going to use this side to pick up and show you only on half how amazing this cloth is as well as this cookie sheet that I use as a, um, like I said, a foil replacement. So see how the, the dirt that was trapped in there is here? So this is how this fiber works on that side when this is how the one, this one here works here. So I'm gonna move this over and show you that now this is clean. If I wanted to wipe up any of that water that's on here, I would actually use this cloth, the all-purpose cloth, and I'm actually perfectly ready to go to use this for the second time or over and over. And as you can see, there's nothing left on here. This is clean. You can see the dirty side? See there's the dirty side? And that's the clean side. So this is why I love these sheets to reuse over and over. Now, let me show you on my stoneware. And again, the same thing, so stoneware. See all this food residue on here? So I'm gonna dip it again in some cold water because I wanna again reuse this fiber because there's no reason why I can't continue to use this because it really does trap. So again, showing you how it will pick up all that oil on the surface. And, and you can see, as, see in here, it does sort of pick up any of the food residue, but see that the white here? This is the oil that's being trapped on that fiber. Now I'm going to use the back side again to show you how it will pick up any of the leftover cooked bits on the edges and stuff because it does have a little bit of a scrape, scrubby side. The only other thing too is you have to remember with stoneware is um, it doesn't really, uh, you can't use soap on it first of all and you can also um, uh, use this little scrapey if you need to because if there's like especially in the corners I love this little one because on the corners it's got edges so I get really down deep into that so you can actually choose this depending on what you're cooking your cookie sheet so this is all I do in this case so again this is my fiber so I was able to clean off half of that but you can see that there's actually no food residue here left on this pan so I am good to go on this and again I don't need a lot of water. All I need to do is take this all-purpose fiber, which is, like I said, a paper towel replacement, sort of, and not sure if I said it, but it is replacement for paper towels. So I'm able to pick up and wipe away all that water because the oil in the food is trapped in here. It's all here. I'm not worried about this. If I wanna rinse it out, I can rinse it out, but I'm not going to right now because I'm gonna show you how I'm going to, again, continue using this fiber. I'm gonna put some more cold water on it, squeeze out excess water. Now I'm going to pick up this butter. But I want you to see, I think that you can see the reflection on here, how my, my, my counter surface is actually really dirty. There, I wiped it down, but I didn't really clean it after I finished cooking and preparing my food. So I'm gonna take this cold fiber that also still has all that food on there, and I'm going to pick up that butter. But I wanna show you how, as I'm doing that, I'm pressing very gently. I don't put a lot of pressure. I'm just going in circular motions to pick up the butter. So there is the butter right here. See that on the surface? It's grabbed and trapped on there. But now I wanna show you, can you hear that? There's nothing left on this counter. So again, I'm going to take my all-purpose cloth I'm going to wipe away the water that's there because there's excess water. Now, final tip when it comes to your counter surfaces is you need to have this drying towel. This is an annual fill. There's one in the living room, one in the kitchen, and one in the bathroom. And what this does is it picks up water. It just dries away. So it eliminates the need for using any other cloth because it actually dries away your surface by giving it that beautiful shine. So you can use this on all your surfaces, including your fridge. So if you've got a lot of staining and marks and stuff on your refrigerator, you would really only need these two to clean off the surface. And then you're going to take the annual fill. And I fold it in, in, in sections like this so that I can actually keep turning it around and wiping off the surface. So now that I've dried this off, 
and picked up all the butter, can you see how there's no way I can put a fingerprint on this counter because I've cleaned it poor deep. There's nothing left on here. But finally, what I want to show you, which is really the true magic behind it, this bowl is perfectly clean. I'm going to take all this food and the butter that's on here. It's still cold in my hand. I can feel the cold. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you how I'm going to wash this plate with this fiber that has all the butter and all the food on it. And you can see me putting the butter on here. But tell me, why is the butter still staying here? And if I take this bowl and show you, there is nothing on here. It is squeaky clean and there's nothing. So that means there's no transfer of butter onto my dish. All I need to do now is rinse this out with hot water and I'm good to go. To wash this, here's the key. You're going to rinse this with hot water because what happens is the fibers trap and grab everything. You're going to put this in hot water and what happens is those fibers will open up and spread out so that you're able to remove all that food residue and oily residue on there. Once you're done doing that, you've rinsed it really well with hot water to be able to clean this out because on here there was food because it had in my pan I had some chicken and things like that so do you want to worry about removing whatever's in here yes so all you need like I was saying earlier is you need this orange blossom soap it's super concentrated it's made of orange it's incredible because it removes oils dirts and odors from any fiber it does you can also use this on fabrics it's amazing as a stain remover and a spot treatment for your laundry. So this is all you need to do. I'm going to do a second video after this to show you how much dirt comes out of this fiber once I clean it out with the all-purpose fiber. So this is it. This is the understanding of the kitchen fibers and how they work to pick up dirt, trap oil, and it's simple water. It is completely the opposite of what we're used to, but believe me, this really works. Have a great day, everyone.